Hey y'all, it's Charlie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It's been a while since I filmed a sit down video other than the one thanking you guys for 5,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. Y'all already know I hate long intros, so let's jump into the video. As you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna be doing some nursing school supply essentials. I'm really, really excited to help you guys out because a new semester is starting, so let's jump into it. These aren't really in any particular order, but the first thing that I have is a quality laptop. Before I had an HP and I really, really liked it and then it crashed and then I just needed something quick because I had assignments coming up in the middle of the semester. So I went and got like a Acer Chromebook or something and it was, it was good. I don't really like Chromebooks that much, but it did the job for that short time that I really needed it until I was able to order this. This is a MacBook Air. And the reason why I wanted to put this first on the list, even though I just said it's not going in any particular order, is because it is compatible with all of the things that I've been doing for online school. With the Chromebook, I couldn't do my clinicals with it because it was not compatible to the thing that we're using for our online clinicals. So I would definitely, definitely suggest, especially, especially since we're doing a lot of online schooling right now that you get a quality laptop. Along with a laptop that has a webcam, I would suggest that you have some headphones. These are just AirPods, but any type of headphones they can use, especially if you're gonna be studying at the library or even at home, especially like if you live with your family and there's a lot of people running around, you need headphones for those online lectures. The next thing I wanna talk about are compression socks. Now, I'm not gonna show you guys my dirty socks, but make sure that you pick up some compression socks for when you do have in-person clinicals. I wear them in the hospital at my job and I also wear them during clinicals. They are very, very, very essential at this point. They're actually required in my program that you have them because they help with varicose veins and just like leg fatigue. They're super duper helpful. I think I talked about them in my PCT video that I uploaded, all the must haves for being a patient care technician or a CNA, but I would definitely, definitely, definitely pick some up and make sure if you are required to have a certain color sock, in my school we have to wear white, that you're following along with your school's guidelines. The next thing that you guys have to pick up is a planner. I've said this so many times, I have a plan with me video out. You need a planner and I also have this large whiteboard here. It has all of my school assignments on it and the days that I have to go to work and anything in between. You have to make sure you have everything down because it is so easy to get lost in the sauce in nursing school and miss deadlines. Um, I actually missed a deadline and now I have to repeat a semester. Um, I didn't want to make a whole video about it. Uh, I asked you guys if you wanted to see it. A lot of you guys said yes. A lot of you guys said, let's spill the tea. Um, it's not tea to me. It's not funny. It's not something that I am uploading for your amusement. So sorry that I won't spill the tea um, and give you your entertainment because this is my life. This is my future. And yeah, I only wanted to put that video out for people who genuinely watch my videos. So if you didn't make it to this point in the video, you're not gonna know. So yeah, I'm repeating a semester. And it sucks just because I missed a deadline. It's that important, you guys. So make sure that you have a planner. This next thing is super obvious, but you need a stethoscope. Now, I just keep mine in this case, but it's not essential. I would wanna protect mine because my stethoscope cost over $100 and I need to keep this baby safe and sound. And plus I throw it from my clinical bag to my book bag to my work bag. I need to have this case but yes this is my stethoscope it is just a Lippmann Classic 3 I got it in all black and I absolutely love it and it's gonna last me a long time I'm gonna apologize for the lighting I'm still trying to figure out where is best for me to film and it's right before work so I'm trying to get this out to you guys and the lighting is going crazy so let me know if you like this filming location or if you want me to move it around along with your stethoscope you're gonna need a manual BP cuff we have to do manual blood pressure while we're doing a lab in nursing school. It just looks like this. I actually bought one. It was in my nursing school supply hall. If you haven't seen it, it's right here and I'll have it linked above in a card. But I bought one and then our school gave us one. So now I have two and I think I'm gonna include it in a giveaway that I'll be doing right before the fall semester because that's when most people are starting nursing school and I really want to give my extra supplies away to someone who could really use it. One thing about manual BP cuff, we actually don't have to use them at clinical because when we're in a hospital, we just use the Dynamap. But you have to have one to pass your lab checkoffs. 
And if you already have your stethoscope and you already have your manual blood pressure, please, please, please do me a favor and you a favor and go ahead and start practicing on your family. It'll help you. The next nursing school essential I have is this foldable clipboard. Now, I have seen the one with all the lab values and all the information on the back. I didn't get that one because I was being cheap. I don't think I'm really missing out on anything, but if you want that one, get it. I'm sure it's super duper helpful. But the foldable one is really good to take to clinical. I can fit it in my scrub pocket. I can put uh, my documentation on it and fold it up so I won't have any HIPAA violations because I don't need anything showing that I'm not supposed to be showing the world. So you can just fold it up. It doesn't fold your papers and you can slip it in your clinical bag or your scrub pocket. This is essential. My next essential is a whiteboard. I'm sure this is no surprise to anyone who has been watching my videos, especially if you watch my study tips video, because not only do I have this small whiteboard, I have a large one. I don't know why I'm pointing at it, you guys can't see it. But I do have a large whiteboard that I like to use. And if you wanna know how I like to use my whiteboards, how I utilize them the best, because even though I did get kicked out of nursing school, I had a 3.8 GPA while I was in school, so clearly my, my grades were up to par, so. You can still use my study tips, even though I got kicked out of school. Clearly still bitter. Um, so yeah, I would definitely suggest getting a whiteboard if you wanna see how I used it. Make sure you click on that video. I think it was super duper help. I think that video was super duper helpful. <laughs> The next essential that you need is a watch. This is just a simple $9 watch from Walmart. It was in my nursing school hall. Um, we have to have a watch with a second hand. All nursing schools are required to have one with a second hand. But the thing is, some schools let you have Apple watches or any type of smart watch. Mine does not. I had to get this one. It's white, it matches my uniform, it's easy to clean. And yeah, I actually use this at work as well. Sorry, my ring light went off, so the lighting is probably definitely different now. I have it back on, but sorry. I believe what I was saying was, this is really good for things like counting respirations. The next essential, and probably one of the most important, you need a good quality pair of shoes. These are the shoes that I used last semester. They are just all white, leather, Skecher, memory, foam shoes. Now, I would recommend those shoes, but I have actually moved on to OnClouds just because they were having a really good deal for everyone who worked at my hospital. I don't know why I said a really good deal, they were free. So we got free shoes, um, just because we are working with a lot of COVID patients and a lot of companies are doing really, really, really great things for healthcare workers right now. And they gave us all free on clouds and they're amazing. But if you can't afford on clouds or you just want something a little cheaper since you're just in nursing school, I would definitely suggest the Skechers or any shoe. Um, just try them out, see what you like, see what you don't like. But a quality pair of shoes for clinical, must have, absolute must have, probably number one on this list. Another thing I wanted to show you guys were these earplugs. I am a person who, when I'm taking a test, I need it to be dead, quiet. I get really, really irritated during tests if I can hear someone clicking their pen, or if the teacher like gives us a test but she won't stop talking, or like she says, don't forget to do this. Like in the middle of the test, I'm like, lady, I love you, but I'm, I need you to hush so I can do this test. So I do use these earplugs. These are actually really good. They're by Max. I asked the professor for permission first. I also use these when I'm studying, especially if I'm at a place like Starbucks or Panera Bread. I've been going there a lot lately because even though I have to retake this semester, I am trying to keep up with where my classmates are in their studying. So I've been using these because Starbucks is currently blasting Christmas music. So I have to keep these in and they are honestly life changing. I really think you guys should try them out. And the last thing I'm gonna share with you guys are actually in the same case that I showed you before and they are pin lights. You are gonna have to have a good set of pin lights for your head to toe assessments. So I would definitely pick up some pin lights. These are just from Amazon. I link them in the description of my nursing call video, but I will try to link them in the description of this one. It actually came with two, a black and white one and a white and black one, and they have held up all semester. And that's all. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you guys have any other nursing school related or PCT or emergency department tech videos that you'd like to see, make sure you comment below because I really want to start putting out a lot of videos since, like I said, I have nothing to do for the rest of the semester. Also, Christmas break. So let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you again for clicking on this video. 
Thank you again for 5,000 subscribers and have a absolute blessed day.